Hey guys, welcome back to another one with Flutter Yo. I am going to be trying to fillet a pike for pretty much the first time. Um, I have this Bubba filleting knife that um, a very special subscriber got for me. Her name is Dottie. And thank you so much, Dottie. Let's see how this sucker works. And hope I do a good job because I'm not... I just watched rewatched the video again to see exactly what I'm supposed to do, but um, I'm still, you know, it's the only way you're gonna learn is to by is by practicing. So, um, I gotta flip it over, and he's probably gonna wiggle a little bit. No, I did not need to flip it over. Yeah, I did. Wait. <laughs> so. Whatever you do, guys, don't watch me uh, or learn from me to do this. Um, there's a great um, tutorial on how to fillet pike by, um, it's called Hooked Up Wisconsin, but it's Hooked Up WI. So that's a good YouTube channel if you wanted to check them out. Um, that's where I watched the video to learn how to do this. So I'm going to give it a shot, guys. But I don't know. Oh. That knife is nice. Okay. Oh, well, we're down to that. You gotta follow. There's no dorsal fin, so you have to follow it the best that you can down the pipe. So, we're gonna do the best that I can. But why? What is that? I don't even know. <laughs> okay, here we go, guys. Gonna go slow since this is like I'm learning with this. Um, oh my gosh! <laughs> Don't do it. Make me feel bad. But this knife is a uh, pretty slick, guys. Pretty slick. Liking it. So you go all the way down to right to here where this fin is and you push through down here and then you continue cutting down towards the tail but angle your knife downwards a little and I am going to cut this one completely off usually I like to keep it attached to the tail so that it's not sliding out of my hands when I'm filleting the fish. So I'm going to run this knife down this way. Now. I did not bleed my fish out, which you can do. I kind of, I've never done that before, so I, I just don't do that. So, you keep filleting on the bones until you get it where you need it. I can feel them Y bones down there. I might have to rewatch that video. <laughs> Because uh, this is not easy, guys. This is not easy. Man. But I, I hear the bones. So that's good. That's a good thing. But do you cut through them things? No. You go kind of downwards, I think. Underneath them. Pretty sure. <laughs> okay, let me uh, pause it up and figure out what I'm doing. Okay, guys, I got the first section off, and then I'm going to fillet it off of the skin first before I go after the Y bones. And then we will go from there, guys. But I learned that you don't want to go all the way down where the skin is. 
you want to leave a little on there because um, that's where I guess a lot of your fishy flavor will come from. So I'm going to leave some of that on there. Oh shoot, well I messed up that part. But this is my first time filleting a pike, guys, so be gentle with me, guys. <laughs> you know, this is, I'd have to say probably out of, for what I know, this is like, for Upper Michigan, this is the hardest type of fish to fillet. Uh, so I do know that. I see I'm going to have to fix that part because it got stuck. Hold on, dudes. <laughs> Shit. You just go up above it. And fillet it off there. You can always, you know, go back and do it this way, you know. If you mess up like I just did. So, here we go. Get that off there. Okay. Now let's get the rest of it off of there. Maybe. Crap. I messed it up. I didn't mess it up. It's just a little more difficult that way. So, there's the skin. Get rid of that. Now, let's see here. I feel the bones. Now, as far as I, what I understand is you follow these bones down and around. So, <laughs> not easy, dudes. So which way, which way, this way? Okay, this is the tricky part, guys. Um, I'm going to pause it up for a minute, and I'll get back to you in one second. Okay, guys. Um, you follow the Y bone from what I saw on there all the way down, and then you kind of fillet out from it, and you follow, um, like, you'll feel the bone. So I'm trying to do my best. This is not easy at all, really. Like, I don't know how far to cut down, but I do see all the bones in there. But I just wanted to, you know, kind of show you the basics on it anyways and to let you know um, what channel you could go to to watch a really good tutorial on how to fillet pike, which was Hooked Up Wisconsin, W-I. It doesn't say Wisconsin, it just has the W-I on there. But I am following the bones, you know, out. So hopefully I'm doing it right, but I don't know why it's like little piece like this. I don't, unless that's the way it's supposed to be, you know. But I don't know. <laughs> I'm doing my best, that's for sure. I'm not trying to like completely mess it up. But. I am going to continue doing this, and then I will, I'm going to show you when I'm done, guys, and we'll see how I do. Okay, guys, I definitely need practice. I will say that, but I did get a bunch of meat that is bone-free, so, but I know I do need practice, <laughs> and you know what they say, practice makes perfect, so... That's the only way you learn, by keep doing it. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, like, comment, share. If you put the notification bell to all, that'll let you know when I post another video. And I'm going to get going. Flutter out, yo.